Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, so many positives where the hosts are concerned, and one positive, Stuart, is a watertight defence. Well, they press the ball at the right times and then drop off at the right times too, which is key to any good defensive structure. Their tactical understanding is absolutely brilliant, which is why they've conceded so few goals. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, the way they're set up, it's vital that they don't let the opposition switch the play. They must lock them down one side of the pitch, but they should have an advantage in midfield. And the starting 11 for Eintracht Frankfurt. Kevin Trapp gets the nod in goal. Makoto Hasebe plays with Martin Hinteregger in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And they kick off here. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Kamada. Excellent vision. Moving forward effectively. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Fruitful looking attack. Can he put them in front? Possession changes hands, the interception there. Gives it a go, and a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Going well. A bit sloppy in possession. Martin Hinteregger. And possibilities here. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. Well, a second goal for them here. Really effective shielding under pressure. And that was a very fine read. Toure. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here.
Could be troublesome. They really look after the ball when they have it. It might be on for them. A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this. Three to the good now. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Three goals without reply. Well, those stats confirm it. Frankfurt have enjoyed the majority of possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Well, they're being outplayed here and the fans are not happy. They need to show more urgency now. Might really be able to trouble them here. Able to get a body in the way. Breaking at pace. Defenders need to cover. A chance to whip it in. Well, it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. And now the delivery. Goalkeeper's ball. It was always going to be that way. Ndika. Sam Lammers. Daichi Kamada. Now Bore. Toure. Daichi Kamada and the electronic board showing one additional minute and that's going to do it for the first half not going to plan here for the hosts at all they have work to do Stuart well how wrong could I be before the game I said how hard they are to score against but that's not been the case today they've been lethargic slow in their recovery runs and haven't closed the ball down the coach will be livid with this display As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Kamada. Lammers. Kamada. Now Boré, promising possession this, so, and he's got the beating of his opponent, Daichi Kamada, oh moving it nicely, now Boré, Kamada, And it's one of the finest goals you're ever likely to see. Simply stunning.
Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Nicolas Hofner. On and on he goes. Lucas Hörner. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Rafael Santos Boré. So. Daichi Kamada. Precise ball movement. Can he put it away? And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance! Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Time for the change now. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. A nicely cut out. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. We have 20 minutes left in this game. Rafael Santos Boré read it well. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Grifo, good looking ball. And a goal to delight the fans, just what they were hoping for. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Kamada. Kostic. Daichi Kamada. So. Paciencia. Kamada. Will he play it in? Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Who's going to get on the end of it? 
And they couldn't take advantage of the chance. And he takes it away. Well, approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, they just never got going. People will point fingers towards the centre-backs and keeper, and to be fair, they've been poor, no doubt about that. But they haven't had much protection. There's been so much space for their opponents to operate in, and they've had a field day. The final whistle can't come soon enough. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what though, I won't want to be in that dressing room right now.